My name is Janak. Uh, I am an internationally trained dentist, having done my bachelor's in dental surgery from India. I am also a Master of Public Health graduate from Western University here in Canada. I scored an 86 on the Feb 2022 AFK cycle and a 700 on my ADAC. My grandmother uh, usually had a lot of issues with her uh, teeth and uh, she always um, had difficulty in eating food uh, or even sometimes uh, speaking because of uh, her uh, dental problems and uh, seeing her uh, pain was the first you know the first ignite for me to uh, head towards dentistry uh, the interaction with patients uh, especially uh, comparing the uh, their smile when they enter the clinic and the smile when they leave the clinic the transition uh, is basically in your hands the magic is in your hands and seeing that transition was uh, the thing which always motivated me to practice clinical dentistry along with uh, having a passion in public health. Uh, more uh, importance is given to uh, practical way of thinking, critical thinking compared to back home wherein it is more of theory based. Uh, so the transition was a little difficult because I had studied for five years in a theory based program and um, once uh, that was done like once my uh, MPH was completed uh, then I started assimilating better in this environment so imagine uh, you studied 19 subjects in your undergrad uh, over a period of five years and then you have to give uh, an exam on all those subjects as, as a combined one exam that's AFK for you so it sounds difficult and it did for me too when I uh, started uh, but I feel that with a structured course and with uh, commitment, planning and execution, it is possible to ace it and people have done it over the years. So uh, I got to know about, uh, so at that time when I was surveying about AFK, there were uh, 300 questions on uh, the AFK uh, and uh, more importance was uh, given to uh, release questions at that time um, and uh, after I started AFK with prep doctors things changed um, and uh, the pattern was 200 questions now with each question weighing more than uh, previously so the room for error was very minimal and uh, once I started with prep doctors uh, the instructors were just fantastic I was like impressed from the day one, uh, I still remember Dr. Marwan and Dr. Ibrahim's intro classes uh, wherein uh, they were providing information on the AFK and at that time it was still 300 questions when I was lost with the new pattern and when in fact when I was hearing uh, people from the August 2021 AFK cycle, the new pattern, first uh, new pattern cycle of how difficult the exam was, I was like Dr. Marwan said that everything is concepts so let me just focus on the concepts and that's how I did it. It was uh, self-study actually, um, but uh, to, prepare be uh, uh, to prepare better, there are applications available in the market. Um, personally, I felt that uh, to do the clinical sections of the ADAT, whatever I read from Prep Doctors AFK notes was more than sufficient. In fact, I was uh, it was uh, enough to get a good score on the clinical sciences section. For majority of the people, I think it takes uh, six months of dedicated studying uh, to ace the uh, AFK. And uh, revision is the most important part. You read a concept and if you don't revise, you will forget it. Revise three to four times before getting into the exam. Each subject minimum three to four times. Second is that the notes which you get from say prep doctors is more than sufficient to ace the exam. You only need to read on the reference articles given by the NDEB apart from the notes. Uh, the Some people do read Mosby and Dental Dex. I would recommend uh, not reading them because it's not uh, tailored for the AFK. Next, I would say that uh, uh, make YouTube your friend. 
don't have it as your distractor rather have it as your study partner uh, because uh, you could learn so many things so many concepts uh, in a three dimensional way which will make it easier for you to uh, have the concepts in, imbibed in you uh, also try to have a study partner because you could motivate each other and because this exam is going to take a, a toll on your mental health because there are so many subjects to cover in so much short time. I think uh, having a study partner who uh, follows the same schedule as yours uh, will be beneficial as you could motivate each other. And I would also say uh, follow st structured study techniques, be very dedicated, give 8 hours a day minimum try your best and lastly and most important do mocks revise the mocks repeatedly the mocks uh, given to me by prep doctors were sufficient for me to get prepared because they were the uh, exams which made me confident that okay i'm ready for the afk because i scored so and so score in the mocks so definitely do the mocks they are vital and crucial uh, before you uh, head into the exam